Good morning. We're on to Beatitude number four. I'm enjoying this series. I hope that you are as well. Uh, let us take some time and examine the scriptures and examine ourselves and see how we can improve. Uh, so we have covered three Beatitudes so far. Let us go into number four and we're going to find that in Matthew chapter five, verse six. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. This beatitude, is, they're using the analogy of food and water or drink. And that's something that our physical bodies need in the earth in order to survive. Jesus Christ went 40 days and 40 nights without food and water and he survived. And I wonder, well, I'm sure scientifically it will tell you how long a human being can go without food and water before they die. In essence, we need it. We need food and we need water. But more importantly, we need God. We need to live righteously before God and it's telling us that when we thirst and when we hunger when you're hungry and you're thirsty you go and you get something to eat you don't continue to be hungry unless you're fasting and in my experience of fasting when I'm fasting I don't feel the hunger anyhow but when you are hungry you're thirsty you go and you get water, you go and you get food to eat. So when we are hungry and thirsty for righteousness, it means we're panting after it. We're going after it. You recognize that it's something that we need in the earth and we go after it. And the Bible is saying that when we hunger and thirst for this thing, when we, as the deer pants after the water brook, we are to pant after God. And righteousness refers to living right before God, living in a way that is embracing God's standard of living. That is righteousness. And the promise here is that they shall be filled. You thirst after righteousness and you're hungry for righteousness, you will be filled with righteousness. You'll be filled with the knowledge and the understanding and the wisdom and the ability and capability to live righteously before God. And there's a further blessing coming on down in the Beatitudes that would tell us about those who actually live righteously before God. So there's an additional blessing that will come your way. So initially in verse 6, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. They shall be for those who have this passionate desire to live righteously before God. You will be filled and enabled to live righteously. God bless you.